Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. The Black Plague was one of the most devastating pandemics ever to occur in the human race. It was carried over from Central Asia by the Black Rat and the bite of a flea from that Black Rat killed so many people in Europe, in Western Europe, in Medieval Europe. It kind of peaked in the 1300s, but more than 80 million people died, which was about half the population at the time. And in France alone, where I am right now, sitting in front of a 11th century wall, more than 3,000 villages in France were completely empty of human beings because of the Black Plague. So far, is this sounding like a really fun chow time? <laughs> well, anyway, I happen to have what they thought was the cure for the Black Plague. So these poor, infected people of medieval France, after a fitful night, they would wake up in the morning and they would prepare what they thought would help control this black plague that was just spreading everywhere. And they ate three things. They ate garlic onion soup. They would have rustic bread, the staff of life. And they would also drink Cahor wine. I happen to love Cahor wine. It's known as the black wine of France because it's supposedly the darkest of all the red wines. And vines were first planted uh, near the town of Cahors, France, in 50 BC by Roman emperors. And over the centuries, it's become a favorite of popes and princes. First, for my onion garlic soup, I've got two giant onions. You can use two or three if you want. And I cut them in half, and I'm just slicing them into very thin slices. Very thin. I'm going to heat about a third of a cup of olive oil in my soup pot. We'll put all those onions into the pot. And I get the olive oil all over them. And then what I want to do is turn the heat down to medium low. I want these onions to cook very slowly because I don't want to brown them. I want to melt them, it's called. Maybe this was a precursor to French onion soup without the cheese. So we'll let these onions cook down and we'll give them an occasional stir. Meanwhile, I'll go play with the garlic. I'm using a whole bulb of garlic. What I did was smash the skins off of them. Then I'm going to give them sort of a medium chop. And when the onions are done, we'll add the garlic. That was about 15, 20 minutes. But look how soft and tender all those onions are. So now I'm going to add my garlic. Give that about 20 seconds to cook in there a minute. Next comes stock. I'm using chicken stock in this, and two quarts all, all told. You can use vegetable stock, you can use beef stock. I would imagine back then, in the 1400s, they probably just used water. just a little more flavor. I'm 
also going to add two teaspoons of salt. One teaspoon of pepper. And when this comes to a boil, we're going to turn the heat down and we're going to let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And one last step. I have four tablespoons of butter that I'm just going to stir in there to give it a little bit of a silky flavor. And just stir it in there until the butter melts and we're all set. So here we go, the perfect Black Plague breakfast. You could just see back then, even back then, how the soup would be comforting, kind of like the uh, medieval version of chicken soup. And of course, bread, crusty bread, that always goes with everything. And dip it in the soup, too and Cahor wine. I must say I've never had wine for breakfast, but you could see where this would take the edge off of things. So if you love food history, like I do, and you feel like you might be coming down with a touch of the plague, you could make this 700 year old recipe. Oh, and if your symptoms start getting worse, here's another thing they did. They thought that bathing would just help spread the disease. And so they stopped bathing. And this is when colognes and perfumes were first used to mask the body odor. So add perfume to this if you need to. <laughs>